In this video, 7 easy tips that are actually supported by science to improve your kidney function fast. Don't miss the number one in particular because there are patients out there that went from risking dialysis back to stage 3 just by doing exactly that. Catherine here, I've been working with kidney disease sufferers for more than a decade now. During these years, I've witnessed firsthand the inspiring stories of patients who have managed to turn the tide on their kidney health by taking control of their habits and embracing the power of knowledge, they've been able to make remarkable improvements, even bouncing back from the brink of dialysis. Yes! What they did is taking control of their health through the right habits. The exciting news is that there has never been a better time to start your own kidney health journey than right now. New studies are being made about kidney health at an incredibly fast pace and we have a huge amount of info we can use in order to improve. And there is one area of nutrition in particular that can be a game changer in the realm of kidney health. The art of mineral management. We know today that finding the right balance between sodium, potassium, phosphorus, and calcium may make a huge difference. These minerals may hold the key to transforming your GFR and creatinine numbers for the better fast. Let's start immediately with Number 7. Stop avoiding high potassium foods Bananas, potatoes, tomatoes, and avocados all have one thing in common, they are extremely healthy for you. Science basically says that if you have kidney disease, the more fruit and vegetables you eat, the greater your chances of improving. And yet many patients are still being told today that high potassium fruits and veggies are their number one enemy. No wonder so many CKD sufferers cannot improve. Actually, despite what many people unfortunately still believe, foods that contain potassium are some of the healthiest you can find. This is because high potassium veggies such as spinach, kale, and kiwi are among the most alkaline foods out there. But why is this important? Because keeping your acid alkaline balance in check is a way more effective way of controlling serum potassium levels than avoiding healthy veggies. This is what the modern guideline for CKD management says, by the way. It's not an opinion. And guys, if you think this info is useful, please give this video a like and let me know your thoughts down in comment section. Time now for our number six. Number six, consider sodium bicarbonate to keep serum potassium under control. Sodium bicarbonate is clever way to solve at least two issues, metabolic acidosis and high serum potassium. I've actually talked about it in one of my recent videos. It's up here and also down in description if you missed it. And by the way, this supplement is an authentic staple for people with kidney disease. So I decided to quiz the double O kidney community about it. So what I asked in my last quiz was, which one of these supplements can be used to reduce serum potassium levels or hyperkalemia? The choices were sodium bicarbonate, vitamin D, ACV, and acacia fiber. And while all these supplements are useful for kidney health in general, the correct answer is sodium bicarbonate. What I found out is that 55% of you guys knew the right answer for this question, which is not bad, but I bet that those that got it wrong want to know why this is an important question. Because you see, sodium bicarbonate can be used to treat high potassium levels in certain kidney disease patients, okay? It treats metabolic acidosis or too high acidity in blood, which is one of the most common causes of hyperkalemia in CKD patients. It's almost as common as taking high blood pressure medications. Yes, that also causes hyperkalemia, just like untreated diabetes. And as I was saying, there have been huge steps forwards in the way kidney disease is treated. Because today, we can effectively treat the cause of high potassium levels instead of just giving up healthy fruits and veggies for no benefit. Up next, another small trick that can help solve a big issue. Number 5. Use iron cast cookware to improve iron levels. Now, this is something I really recommend to basically anyone with CKD. What you see here is not just a regular skillet. 
It's an iron cast skillet, the best friend of your kidneys when it comes to cooking. When you cook, especially if acidic seasonings such as lemon or vinegar are involved, some metal from your cookware will leach into your food. That may be either a bad or a good thing. For example, you absolutely don't want extra aluminum in your diet. This is why this skillet is made from iron. When you are cooking with it, what will leach into your food is precious iron, something most kidney patients need to supplement. Science is pretty clear on this. If you use this kind of cookware every day, your iron levels can improve. But why is this important? Because you see, according to recent statistics, up to 72.8% of CKD patients also suffer from iron deficiency anemia. That's a huge problem because anemia causes kidney disease to progress faster. Now, getting more iron in your diet will surely help, but unfortunately, for some patients, it's not enough. This is why you should make sure you are being tested for iron levels regularly if you have CKD. Up next, another issue that not enough patients are being treated for. Number four, use this seaweed to help your thyroid. Okay, this may sound strange at first, but for some patients, this may be extremely important. There is a connection between the kidney and the thyroid that sometimes even doctors fail to notice. And this is a problem. If the thyroid doesn't work well, symptoms may seriously affect your kidneys and many other parts of your body. Now, the thyroid is also part of the system used by the body to regulate the balance between calcium and phosphorus. These two minerals are almost always out of balance in people with CKD. So what the body does in this case is releasing more parathyroid hormone to reduce phosphorus and increase calcium. This has unfortunately also consequences on thyroid health, which in turn has consequences on kidney health. Yes, there is a strong correlation between thyroid function and kidney function, but there are a couple of things we can do to stop this vicious circle. First of all, protect your thyroid with iodine. Iodine is usually present in our diets because the table salt we use isn't rich with it. But I bet that most of you guys have no table salt at all in your diet, which is great for your blood pressure, but may put your thyroid under even greater stress. This seaweed or wikami can help with that. It's the best dietary source of iodine you can find and it will really help your thyroid. Now, wikami is great, but when it comes to serious medical conditions that can affect the kidneys, such as thyroid problems, you also want to get checked, okay? It is generally recommended that CKD patients have their thyroid function monitored regularly. There are treatments that work today to improve thyroid function in CKD patients, such as levothyroxine, Good news is that, according to studies, renal function can be improved with the treatment of hypothyroidism. So make sure you are not overlooking this very important issue. Up next, a simple hack that may have a huge positive impact on your kidney function. Number three, eat one or two Brazil nuts every morning. Brazil nuts are super tasty and the reason why I'm recommending them is Selenium. Selenium is a mineral that's been used to fight kidney disease in medical literature. But how can a single mineral help with kidney disease? Well, because the deficiency in this mineral, which is pretty common actually, is considered a cause of kidney damage. Even more interesting, correcting this deficiency has been observed to directly improve GFR numbers. In this placebo-controlled trial, those supplementing selenium as well as cocutane for 48 months had a huge improvement in kidney function. As we can see here, a whooping 14% points improvement in GFR. So yeah, consider adding Brazil nuts to your diet, but no more than one or two per day. Keep in mind that Brazil nuts are very rich in selenium. The daily selenium target, or RDI, can be achieved with just two Brazil nuts. And you don't want to get more than that. Number two, use an app to track your nutrient intake. Okay, this is my number two for today because it can make a huge difference for a huge number of CKD patients. And it can really help, not just with micronutrients and minerals. You see, the way most people follow a diet today is by receiving a list of foods to eat every day. Your dietitian may tell you to eat this food for breakfast, that food for lunch, and so on. They may give you some examples of replacement foods and usually a list of foods to avoid. Now, don't get me wrong, this works. 
to an extent. But you see, there is a fundamental flaw to this approach. It is not compatible with a renal diet. Why, you may ask? Because a renal diet must provide an exact daily amount of protein. That's the number one goal of a renal diet, okay? 0.55 to 0.60 grams per kilogram per day of protein for non-diabetics and 0.60 grams to 0.8 grams per kilograms per day of protein for diabetics. And there is a reason why dietitians are supposed to follow rules so strict. Because studies are linking too high protein intake to a declining kidney function. Now the scary part. Some of these studies were done on CD patients that were being monitored by renal dietitians. Now, this is a big problem because if you eat more protein than what you are supposed to eat, there is no way you can improve your kidney function. And the best solution, in my opinion, is to double check that your diet is ship shape by using one of those free diet apps you can download on your phone. They are actually very easy to use. You basically just weight everything you eat on a kitchen scale and you input the food and the weight into the app. There are various free or freemium apps you can use. Nutritionix, MyFitnessPal, Chronometer, Lucid, and more. What these apps give you is the total of the calories, protein, carbohydrates, and fats you are getting every day. And this will be a better way of managing your diet than just blindly following a diet prescribed to you by a dietitian. Says science. A way to make sure protein intake is not damaging your kidneys. And guys, one of the most important things you can use this app to track will be our number one. Seriously, find a way to drastically reduce your intake for this mineral. I'm talking about number one, drastically reduce your phosphorus intake. Phosphorus and protein, these two always go together and they can be the number one enemy of your kidneys if you have too much of them in your diet, especially if they come from animal-based sources. It's not a secret that drastically reducing the amount of animal-based foods on your table is a way to protect your kidneys. But did you know that in a recent study, 120 patients were able not just to stop the decline of their kidney function, but to improve it just by controlling their phosphorus and protein intake? If you want to know more, this video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.